Hello again. This is the second video clip dedicated to the FED class. Uh, this clip is going to be short because I just wanted to show you how to uh, connect a 5 volt power supply to your uh, breadboard so that you can use it for all of the experiments this semester. And I'm using a 9 volt battery and the 7805 which you see here now in your kit you will find two devices that look like this um, it looks like most power transistors but this one is special it is a little bit more complex than just a single transistor it's a voltage regulator so what happens is that I provide 9 volt to the input of this device and the input is going to be between pin 1 and 2. There are three pins to this voltage regulator. If you can read the label 7805, on the left side is pin 1, the middle one is pin 2 and the right side is pin 3. So between pin 1 and pin 2, you will connect the 9-volt battery, the positive to pin 1 and the negative to pin 2. And then you will see that from pin 3 to pin 2, you will get exactly 5 volts, regardless of the power supply that you provide. Of course, there is a limit to what you can provide because that, that voltage regulator cannot... Uh, probably handle more than a certain maximum voltage which you will find in the specs of that uh, voltage regulator but as long as it exceeds 6 or 7 volts the, the output whether it's 12 volts 15 volts the output is going to be 5 volts right this guarantees at least and uh, as long as the battery is uh, more or less new or not too old you will have enough current to power up every circuit and for at least more than a semester definitely usually right unless you leave uh, unless you short circuit the, the terminals of the battery which happens to a lot of students when they when they store them they forget about these wires the red and and, and the black and they, when they touch each other that short circuits the battery and that depletes it so now in the back you will see that i have connected pin 2 to the blue line and pin 3 to the red line which means since i have connected uh, all these red lines together and all the blue lines together which are also connected to the terminals in case you use a power supply at school or you have one at home you can connect them straight from the red to black and you have the whatever voltage you want all connected to the breadboard but in the meantime I also connected the blue lines together, the red lines together, which I have described had described before in the previous clip. And so now I have 5 volts available between any red line and any blue line. And just to show, even though I'm going to use this uh, multimeter as a voltmeter, not as a battery tester. Uh, it has a battery testing capability, but I'm going to set it for 20 volt if i set it for 2 volt it's too low if i set it for 200 volts it's too high in the sense that it can read the value but i would not have a lot of digits beyond the decimal point so you have to figure out the number that's high enough to read your voltage but not too high where you lose resolution and i'm using it also as a voltmeter and as you see here you see here it says it can measure volts and ohms and resistances. So I'm going to connect the red there and the black is the common, right? The others are, uh, the other two terminals are made for, uh, for, for um, measuring currents, which you don't need for the time being. And when I measure the, the voltage for the battery, and as you see here, it's about 9.11 volts. And, but when I measure between pin 3 and uh, pin 2, you see it's about 5 volts, more or less uh, 4.98. But of course, in this case, it's minus because I reversed it. So the black lead to the black 
and the red lead to the positive and you read 4.98 volts. So which means you have exactly the voltage that you need to run all of your experiments this semester. So this voltmeter is something that I purchased about 30 years ago or so. And you see here it still works. I have a better meter, of course, but most of my work is done with this one. So what it means is that whenever you buy something, don't think of it as a waste of time, whether it's a breadboard, a larger breadboard, if you want to uh, handle more circuitry or two, two strip breadboards, one for your uh, own individual projects, one for your class projects or class work. That's up to you, but nothing is wasted. So uh, uh, next time I will show you how to build circuitry, at least the, the, the simplistic, simpler, simpler ones, and then more extensive as we go.